Hi, my name's Belinda Campbell and I've got Lyme disease. I was bitten by a tick about uh, 11 years ago in North Queensland. Um, I found the tick on me, I, I pulled it off. Um, I then got a rash surrounding um, the bite. Initial symptoms were uh, more virusy, body aches, uh, vertigo, uh, swollen glands, um, uh, and then it proceeded from there. It, it's gone to now. Uh, my ears I get blocked feeling in my ears, uh, blocked feeling in my head, uh, like there's pressure and they're going to explode. I get ringing in the ears, uh, sharp pains in my ears, in my head. Um, I constantly have swollen glands um, and, and a tight feeling like someone's grabbing me around the throat. Um, my eyesight, um, it's blurry, I get jumpy vision, uh, floaters. I also um, have a heart condition now. I've got an arrhythmia, a tachycardia. I get a lot of chest pain. Um, my body aches constantly. There's not a moment I'm not in pain. Um, I get stabbing pain. Uh, I used to have a saying, uh, someone's got the voodoo doll out um, because it's so strange that it, it's hard to explain. Uh, you could be laying there and all of a sudden it's like somebody's actually stabbing you in the leg and there's no there's no reason for it um, yeah I um, I have memory problems I can't remember anything I can't find my words I stumble over them um, brain fog I'm uh, very disappointed and uh, very angry with the government because it's not acknowledged here doctors aren't um, aren't taught to look out for signs, symptoms, and they don't test here correctly. Um, I've gone through 11 years of sheer agony, and I've given Lyme disease to my daughter. And that, that could have been stopped if the government would recognise that it w was in Australia. And it would have been a course of antibiotics 11 years ago, and we wouldn't be going through this now. But uh, they won't acknowledge it, and um, most GPs won't even talk about it. I've been sent out of doctors for talking about Lyme disease in Australia. You what, sorry, been sent? Sent out of doctor's surgeries, like asked to leave out of doctor's surgeries because they will not acknowledge that Lyme disease in Australia. Uh, financially, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a burden. I, I can't uh, work and um, support my family. Uh, and. Um, all my tests and medication and everything uh, cost so much that uh, it's a struggle and we, we have to miss out on, on luxuries. Um, and my, my children miss out on a lot of things because of that. What about um, what you were commenting before and about how you can't play with them? And yep. Um, why can't you play with your kids? Because I can't run around. I, I can't run around and kick the, f the footy with my son. Um, I've, I've tried and I've passed out. Um, Sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll start to, and I'll get chest pain and I'll feel very ill and I have to, and I'm laying down, I spend 80% of my time laying down. Um, so the kids have got to come into the bedroom and um, it, to see me and, and talk to me. Um, and sometimes when I'm feeling very ill, I'll have to get up and tell them I'm not feeling well in case I pass out and I have a seizure. I've woken up on the kitchen floor with uh, my four-year-old daughter sitting next to me and saying, Mummy, wake up. <laughs> if anyone else is sick in any way with uh, any sort of fatigue, um, if diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, um, MS, um, it might not be those things. It could be Lyme disease. Uh, apparently 70% of people don't even know they've been bitten by a tick.